Hey, it's Nick with Table 19 Media, where we show you how to take better photos and videos so you can grow your brand. In today's video, we are talking about adding property lines to drone videos so that you can show the dimensions of the property on an overlay with the video as it's moving. A pretty cool technique, easy to do with a simple plugin. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Before we jump into this video, make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel where we have more videos like this coming out very soon. We're in a new location shooting a couple videos, so there'll be a location change for a little bit, but let's jump into this video. All right, so hey guys, so I'm at here at a, uh, at a property. We're gonna shoot, it's just a lot, so it's an empty, it doesn't have a house on it, but we're gonna shoot a drone video and get some stills uh, for the agent. And um, um, I'm gonna show you in post how I add the uh, property lines for the lot. Um, so we can uh, um, put that in the video um, just so that everybody can see, you know, what, you know, where the actual lot property lines are. And uh, it's a really, really cool feature. But uh, we're going to get the drone up in the air. It's a beautiful day, nice and warm. The water looks uh, like it's uh, going to be a nice color. So we're going to shoot that and get going. All right, so we have the Mavic Air and then uh, the controller, iPhone 11 Pro Max hooked in there. So we're gonna take off. All right, so let's see, we're going into, let's look at our settings real quick. We're on manual. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this video actually in, uh, let's go to video size, 24 frames a second, 4K. The color is decent alike. I put the white balance just on sunny because it's nice and sunny format, MOV, style. Yep, all that looks good. And uh, we're gonna take this down to 150th because we're shooting in 24 frames a second. So we want it to be double, the shutter speed double our frame rate. All right, so that looks good. We may have to increase the shutter a little bit um, depending on how, uh, how bright it is, but let's, uh, let's take off. We got about 59%. So we're gonna make this a quick, we're gonna make this a quick, a quick shoot. All right, and I can see that the lot is right, right there in the center of my screen. So I'm gonna do a couple things. One, I wanna get a shot where I can see where the lot is. I can have an outline or a marker of some sort, but I also wanna see what's around it. So I'm just gonna circle around it. That's good. I'm not too high, but I'm not too low. Just so I can see it over everything and kind of see down a ways a little bit. Cool. All right, so that's a good shot right there. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, record, hit record, and we're just gonna rotate around it. Uh, we can see that in the bottom, so I can see everything. Put some, some marker or uh, some lines, lot lines around it. But I can also see how close it is to the beach. And how close it is to everything else. So there's a pool right there. So I'm just gonna rotate around it just enough to give you an idea of where everything is. All right, let's stop that and let's go over. I'm gonna get a little bit of a more uh, detailed shot. So I'm gonna fly over it. Let's turn around. There's a little bit of lag, I think, on the, on the video. There's some, some interference, but nothing, nothing crazy. All right, so. Let's do this. We got a nice view. We can see everything that this lot has to offer. All right. It's a little bit, little bit jittery, but I think that's gonna be enough to... Let's do one more this way. I'm gonna back it up and kind of back up and then just move a little bit forward give it a little bit more space. Yeah, let me zoom, okay, and move forward a little bit. And again, just gonna give me about, you know, five to seven seconds that I can put the lines on so that you can see the entirety of, 
of that whole lot. All right, so that looks good. We got that, so let's back up. I'll just keep an eye on our battery percentage. I didn't realize the batteries had lost a little power just waiting in the bag, but, but no big deal. So let's hit record and we're gonna fly backward, tilt the camera up and get that shot of everything that is behind it. All right, that's looking good. All right, I like that. We're getting some interference. Hopefully that'll, uh... all right, so let's fly back. We're gonna rotate off to the side. I'm gonna go up just a tad bit. So I want to get a little bit more, a little bit more of a better view. And we're just gonna rotate, rotate around it. We're gonna hit record. It's a little bit overexposed at the top, but not a big deal because as we uh, flip around, it'll become less exposed. Yeah, there we go. We might just end up you know, cutting it right about here but to start the clip. But this is a good one because we can see the expanse of everything. And we'll probably end up speeding this clip up so that we can rotate around it but we don't have to wait this long in the video. All right, that looks good. Why well, don't we're gonna fly over I hear a helicopter coming down, so we're gonna just lower. I think we're out of their way, that's all right. So we're gonna rotate, and we're gonna get a shot of the, this pool over here. All right, I see that our, our battery's a little bit low at 30%, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna rotate around this way so that we can show how close this pool is how close this pool is to that lot right there. So we can point out the pool, we can point out, put a marker right there that says, hey, this lot is right here. That'll be a good, that'll be a good shot. All right, and then we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up a ways. to show, because right back here, there is a pool and tennis court. You can see the pool and tennis court. So I'm gonna back up and go up higher so that we can see, we can see the pool and the tennis court. All right, we just need short little clips. We don't need that long of a clip, but you know, 10 seconds is good enough for me. All right, so I think we got we got the shots that we need. Again, it's a small little lot, not, not a whole lot to it, but we definitely want to show where it's located so that we can... Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. I'm on my way, don't worry. Not too shabby. All right, let's head back in and we will uh, we'll, uh, look at how we're gonna get this edited. All right, so let's dive into how to add the outline to our drone footage to show the outline of our property. Uh, this is an empty lot that's near the beach, but uh, the agent wants to have a drone video showing the, the, you know, the property um, by itself, but also you know, proximity to the water. Uh, it's in a community that has a pool and a tennis court and all that. So ultimately the overall video is showing not just, you know, what what this property looks like, what this empty lot looks like, but also, um, uh, you know, how, how it looks and where it's located in, in the larger community. But uh, for this specific specific shot, we want to outline uh, the uh, lot boundaries. So then someone watching this video, a potential buyer can see, okay, these are where the property lines are. So uh, we're gonna hop into Final Cut Pro X, Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, I'm gonna be using a plugin by Pixel Film Studios called uh, Outline Auto Tracker Outline. 
And so when we click on this in our plugins, we'll scroll up to the top and we're gonna choose the 178, which is the HD. So it's important that whatever you're picking is matching the dimensions of your video. So this is a 1920 by 1080 uh, video, the final output for this video, even though I shot drone footage in 4K, um, this is a 1080p um, um, deliver, deliverable. So we're going to uh, take this and drag it over the top and we're going to shrink it down so that it's just covering this clip right here. So as we see this clip play, all right, cool. So this clip, so this is a good one where it's gonna be rotating around it, but it has for the most part, the whole uh, boundary lines of the property um, visible. There's a little, uh, we get to like right here, it's a little bit, or as we get earlier, the boundary lines kind of like go down here towards the road and follow the road back up. But um, um, I'm gonna show you how we can uh, add those in so that they are revealed properly here. So as long as we have this selected, now we can click on here and add points to uh, on just on the screen. And that would be a simple, a simple way to add the uh, uh, add the points. Now with this, if we uh, zoom in a little bit, and let's make this a little bit bigger, more 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 to work with. Let's close that out. Oops. Um, all right. Here, let's close it out so we have some more room, more room to work with. All right. All right. So we've added uh, these four points and then then connect them. Um, and we're at the very first frame. So as long as we start on this first frame, whatever we put on these four, on these four points, that's going to keep its shape and it's going to basically track where uh, where we put those points on the video on the video here. It's going to track that and it's going to morph the shape uh, and change perspective as we rotate around it. So starting right there. Um, we're gonna go down to outline width, and I think I usually have this set at three. Um, let's do five. There we go. Five's good. So we can see if we click off of that, we can see that that's uh, that's probably eh, maybe a little bit too wide. I don't want it to be. Let's try four. Four is probably good. All right. So starting right here, we can now track forward uh, we're at the very first frame and we go to the very first frame put the points out so that's where it's going to track um, all the data as it rotates around so that this shape stays um, true to true to form and so we're going to click track forward and so what it's going to do is it's telling you okay it's 124 frames that's so going to be tracking and it's uh, going to basically track um, where we put those points on the ground so that as it rotates around, it's going to keep that outline in the same shape that we originally put it uh, for our, uh, you know, for that first frame. So let's give that a little bit for it to process them, depending on your computer speed, your processor, um, you know, and how many frames it's actually doing, you know, it could be a minute, a couple minutes for it to do it, but usually it's not, it's not that bad. I'm usually not doing this to very, very long clips. I'm usually you know, doing this to uh, you know, anywhere from five, you know, maybe eight seconds uh, for a clip, so it's not uh, not too terribly long. All right, so it already finishes. It's putting in, um, it's recording all the data. And I, I don't want to speed through this process. I want you to see like what the what this process looks like, you know, from start to finish. So let's go ahead and um, scrub through this, and it looks like I did a fantastic job keeping everything in place. So now we play through that and awesome. That looks great. That looks great. All right. Awesome. Um, something else that we can do is um, taking this now that we've tracked this, um, if we want to add an add a, a simple effect in that um, we want, we want the viewer to see it without the outline and then like fade the outline in. Um, you can't do that just the normal way you would if you wanted to fade something in because 
um, the way this plugin works, you'd, you'd be fading in the, uh, the whole, uh, it just creates a, basically a, a black fade in. So we're gonna undo that. So what you have to do is create a, uh, a new compound clip. And we'll just call this outline. And then that compound clip, fade that compound clip in. So that's how you're going to fade in um, or add any effects or you know, delay that uh, showing up is that you have to put it in a compound clip first and then, then add any effects or whatever you want to that compound clip. All right. So with this, you can also obviously change the, uh, the line color, make this red, make it stick out more. You can also change the fill color. something like that um, just to add you know, just to add more um, a contrast between you know, what the what the outline and what's inside the outlines um, as opposed to everything else um, but uh, this is a, a very simple a very simple plug-in it, it works for what it needs to do uh, it does a great job and um, um, it's definitely very very useful for uh, shooting real estate especially if you're shooting drone videos of properties now, a couple other things that you can um, do is that if you hold down option, you can actually remove um, points if you made a mistake, uh, remove those. You can also, when you click, before, uh, when you click to set up points before you let go, you can move that and that's gonna bow the, uh, uh, bow the line so that if, you're, if you have to, instead of just uh, needing to do a straight line if you need to follow the curve of the road um, or something like that and I'll show you right here so let's go down to make it this point right here and then we're gonna click over here Oops, let's click right there and set this point right here but now we want it to follow the curve of the road so that way, I'm gonna move this out. And so that way, we're not getting a straight line. We're gonna follow the curvature of the road right there. And then, so now we have a, uh, uh, you know, not a straight line, but we can curve our lines just like that. So uh, you have a lot of potential to do more complex, um, you know, lot lines, depending on what the what the property you know looks like or what the lot looks like. Um, again, you cannot. You don't need to just do this for empty lots. You know, this can be used in so many different applications as far as just outlining something in a shot um, and putting emphasis on you know outlining something that's um, you know in in the shot um, on the ground in the video. So uh, definitely, you know, jump in, uh, get a feel for you know how you can manipulate the dots, how you can manipula manipulate the lines. And um, I think you'll uh, you'll you'll see how useful a tool this is, uh, not just for outlining you know properties on drone, but uh, just to add uh, more um, more information and more uh, functionality and usefulness to videos, especially for real estate, but really any any uh, any use uh, in your videos. So in, th in this example, uh, I know this is a little a little wonky, but uh, for the purposes of of a, a demonstration. So I did this um, not on the, so where I track this is not, um, the fr I didn't go to the first um, the first frame or the last frame, I'm kind of you know, maybe a quarter into the clip. And that's okay if that's where you find, if you wanna go okay, um, in case something anywhere in the clip, uh, one of your points or one of the outlines is, might go off camera um, or out of the shots, that's okay. You want to scroll, find the frame that has the best, um, the best view of the entire property, and so then set those points. And so this would be an example where now we've gone to right about here. And so when you scroll down, you have track forward and track reverse. So what I can do is I can track reverse, and so that's gonna from that point backwards, it's going to. Um, it's gonna track all the data points 
from where the playhead is all the way back into the clip. And then once that is done, I can hit track forward and it's gonna track all the data from that point to the end of the clip. So it doesn't really matter where you, uh, where in the clip you set your points um, because you can, you can track forward, track back, so that you can get all the information, you can, you can get a smooth uh, motion, motion track uh, for the whole clip. All right, so now when we play that back, we're gonna have a nice smooth motion track no matter where we actually were at, no matter where we actually started uh, that motion track. So again, a super helpful plugin. I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth the, the few bucks that it is um, to just add that, that level of uh, production value to your videos. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy it. I think, uh, I know it's, it's super easy to understand and, and, and jump right in, not complicated at all and uh, um, super helpful. So as you can see, it's not that difficult to get a hang of using the plugin with tracking and adding outlines to your properties for your drone videos. This dramatically increases the production value of your videos and I think your clients will be very happy with the results. That's all we got for this video. Please make sure that you let me know if you have any questions about this plugin or about um, editing uh, these videos. Also make sure to like and subscribe to this channel where we have more videos like this coming out soon to help you grow your brand. Also make sure that you check out in the description below our mobile photography for real estate course and also our mobile video pro for real estate where I show you how to use your smartphone to take amazing photos and also videos for real estate. I'm Nick with Table 19 Media. I will see you in the next video.